Hey, what's up, you big babies? It's me, Horn Man. I was gonna call it Horny Man, and then I realized how wrong that sounds. Look at my beanie. Cool, right? That has nothing to do with today's topic. Today's topic is about big. Yeah. Look at my beanie. And the fact that he is back on season two of The Single Life. And that scares me. Why? Because this motherfucking ball of lies convinced me that he got engaged. He put a ring on it, but he didn't though. Are you guys following me here? Is anybody following the Big Ed situation? As far as I'm aware, if you go on his Instagram or you go on Liz Brown's Instagram, they're engaged. But if you look at the show, Single Life Season 2, this man is dating all sorts of bitches. He's getting his hair cut, he's getting in shape. What shape? Rhombus, probably? I don't- He's just doing things that don't add up. And I am very, very rightfully confused. Can anybody explain this to me? I thought he said he was with Liz, now he says he's not with Liz. I, there's a lot of flip-flopping going around from a man who physically probably can't do that. Um, my name's 16 Leo, and I am back on Big Ed Watch. Play the music. Damn, da 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 damn, Big Ed Watch. I made the music myself. Today, we're gonna be looking at season two of The Single Life. This is probably gonna be a long, drawn out season. Big Ed said that he had been, and I quote, shot at. I don't know how they missed, but anyway. I am very much invested in this man's life. He's very charming. He's a very charming dude. But he's also a bitch. bitch, 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 bitch. Personality wise. Anyway, before we start the video, if you would like to be on Big Ed Watch with me, please hit that subscribe button. Get your friends to be part of this as well. I really love the reception the first time we did Big Ed. I am so thankful that you guys like the series. Also, follow me on Instagram if you just want to say hi or give me ideas for the next video. I would really appreciate that. Hey, really quick, I'd like to thank Honey for sponsoring another one of my videos. If you didn't know, Honey is not only a browsing extension, but the number one shopping tool in America. If I'm trying to buy something, I seriously check online to see if Honey has any coupons for that item or store before going in. You know how some online stores have promo codes you can manually enter to save money? Well, Honey automatically searches the internet for those promo codes so that you don't have to. Just sit back and Honey does the rest. Once you add items to your cart and are about to check out, Honey will automatically get to work and sift through these online promotions, applying the best coupon available to your order. It works for so many things. Things that you're already gonna buy. Yes, including ordering food online. I cannot express how easy it is to use, and I think every single person who orders anything online should be using it. It gives me a mini jolt of serotonin watching my cart total get lowered after using honey. And that little dancing coin that pops up when you save? It's so cute. Did I mention it's absolutely free to add to your browser? So don't just go to joinhoney.com. Go to joinhoney.com slash 16leo because that way you'll be directly supporting my channel. That's joinhoney.com slash 16leo to download it for free. Thanks again, honey. Okay, let's just get into it. Big Ed awaits. I need everyone to love me and then just leave me alone. <laughs> so Big Ed is turning over a new leaf. He has decided to get his hair cut, which is his signature look because he likes looking like an old crusty Italian who is afraid of cutting his hair because he might lose it if he does. You know how those girls say new year, new me? Well, this is new hair, new Ed. Oh, this is gonna look really good. This has been my signature look for about three years. You got freaking awesome hair. When your whole color grows in, it's gonna be hot. Like George Clooney sexy. I gotcha. Not George Clooney sexy. More like George Clueless, I mean. George Clooney's a hard comparison, bro. It's like me comparing myself to Bradley Pitt or Cooper or any other fucking Bradley out there. Why am I getting excited? <laughs> this is it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh my god. Yay. Oh my god. Yeah. It still smells like mayo. Okay. It still smells like mayo. Okay. Ooh, disgust the mondo. <laughs> well, didn't need to hear that, but I guess I'm gonna be seeing and hearing a lot more of bigger than normal these days, so. Merry Christmas to me. I'm tired of pretending I'm gonna look young. Honestly, I think it looks like I'm trying too hard. So this is about Big Ed returning to who I am. I'm done with the mayonnaise. I'm ready for Big Ed 2.0, better version. <laughs> I, like, <laughs> I like that he had to clarify 2.0 is a better version. <laughs> Has Apple ever updated something and been like, this is the new version? Oh, it's way worse than the old one. I'm fucked up, bro. Big Ed 2.0, better version. More chest hair, less head hair. So this is about Big Ed returning to who I am. 
myself. But he's never gonna not talk about himself in the third person. Let's just nip that one in the bud. He's gonna call himself Big Ed. And 16 Leo knows Big Ed's calling himself Big Ed because 16 Leo knows how to play like Big Ed. 16 Leo and Big Ed are good friends. 16 Ed, Big Leo. Hmm. So what, what was the moment you're like, I'm cutting it off? Yeah. I've been in a black hole for the last six weeks. Oh no. Because I, okay. I recently broke up with my girlfriend. Oh no. She took a second. I've been in a black hole, and like her head was like, Oh no. He's been in a black hole because apparently he broke up with Liz. And he broke up with her, but he's the one who seems emotionally damaged. You can only imagine what it does to her. Whenever someone breaks up with you, it must suck. I mean, it does suck. How do you get past that, you know? So being the one who does the breaking up and still feeling sad, you can only imagine what Liz is feeling right now. Dude, I recently broke up with my girlfriend. Oh no. Are you okay? Oh. It sucks. All your day consisted of was cutting your hair. Now you are in tears at the salon. And you can hear, she doesn't even know what she wants to say. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna keep snipping, I don't. Oh. Oh, it's so sad. Whoop, whoop, whoop. She doesn't know what to do. Is she qualified for this? This is not a free therapy session as well as a haircut. Two different things. I don't go to McDonald's to get a burger and then get a back massage. Not the same place. And that's hard to, to walk away. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> Those audible, oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry about that, Big Ed. You will be okay. This Baba is my favorite. She's the best. Oh, are you ready? I'm ready. Woo, 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 woo. Come and get y'all. The fuck was that? Woo, 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 woo. Yo, girl, over there. Yeah, y'all. What? I want to see that one more time. Woo, 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 woo. Come and get y'all. That's that's what you say when you snort a whole brick of cocaine. You woo 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 come here yeah yeah woo woo woo. Where am I, Miami? I guess that's a weird reaction, but it's very big Ed of him. So, so then Big Ed goes and tells his life story as he does on every season. Two years ago, I met a girl online. Her name was Rose. He explains that he met a girl whose name is Rose. He says was Rose as if she changed her name. I always find that funny when people are like, yeah, I met a girl, her name was Cindy. What is it now? John? I'm gonna do the December special where I re recount every single Big Ed experience. And she was from the Philippines. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I was so afraid of losing Rose that I you know, wasn't completely honest. Why you not tell me the truth? You not want a baby? What do you mean? Well, I'm I'm done. He talks about Rose, a girl that he met who is 22, 23 in the Philippines. And they broke up because he didn't want to have a kid and she did. And then he goes to tell the story of how he met Liz, a 28-year-old waitress who he met at his favorite restaurant. Liz is where it gets interesting. But I was so afraid of being friend-zoned that I moved too fast. <laughs> cool. Thank awesome. you. <laughs> you can't do that. Why not? That he got friend-zoned. Um, yeah, this is where my eyeballs and my actual balls just dip. I felt rejected, but she gave me another shot, and thankfully, it did get romantic. Oh my god, why do I have to keep seeing this? We made love all night. This man asked her out. She said reluctantly yes. He asked her out on a second date. She's like, okay. He then proceeds to invite her over to the house and tries to kiss her, to which she says we're better off as friends. So you think that's over. But somehow, this dude manages to get her in the sack, say yes to being his girlfriend, also saying yes to moving in, and then she gets broken up with. I don't get it either. I've never given a, a woman multiple orgasms in my life, and yeah. Yeah, I did that. Okay, playboy. Goddamn, son. That is information that I 
did not need to know. Like I keep saying, my theory about Big Ed is that he has a big dong. That's my theory, because I just don't know what else she sees in him. Sorry, no offense, but I don't get it. His personality is not great. It's gotta be something special about him. Must be that dong. I was very insecure about me, about being loved again. All in all, we broke up about eight times. Uh, if you watched my last video on it, Big Ed said he broke up eight times with Liz through text. You want my honest opinion? If I'm mid-50s and I happen to find a girl who's 28, who I like, who I think is very attractive and all that stuff, she would have the upper hand, I gotta tell you. I don't know about my stock in the game. I, I would feel very scared at 50-something searching for love. And I'm not saying that there's an age limit, but I already feel... Like I'm late to the game some days. And I see like people who are like 18 getting married. I'm like, damn, 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 damn. I just I got a croissant, croissant today. What the fuck? That was my goal. This man, 56. He doubled my age and then some. I don't know. Big Ed's personality seems to get in the way of his dating and charming ability to find matches. He's not having a problem finding the girls. He's having a problem keeping them. In a way, I still love Liz, and I'm just trying to get through it. Can I see your hair? Oh my goodness, you look awesome. The other thing I love about Big Ed is his mom. Now, there's a lot of moms who suck on 90 Day Fiance, like Debbie and Colt, oh my God. The wholesome mom who I absolutely love is Big Ed's mom. Mama Big Ed is my favorite <laughs> because Liz is Big Ed's sister's name as well. She's famous for saying, does Liz look like your sister to Big Ed? What's her name did you say? I'm Elizabeth. Well, she goes by Liz. Like but your sister, Liz. Yeah, exactly. Does she look like your sister? Oh, hell no. As if that was a normal thing to say. You know what? What? You look 20 years younger. Yeah. <laughs> Leave some of this beautiful grain here that, that makes you look so distinguished, like my dad. I like how she compares him to every member of the family. That's like her only mode of comparison. You? You look like my father. Even though you're my son, you look like my father. Your girlfriend has the same name as your sister. So I'm pretty sure she is your sister. Teddy? Teddy is the name of my mailman. So you're my dad, your dog's my mailman, and you're dating my daughter, which is your sister. Got it. I'm Big Ed's mom. What's up? My ideal partner would be between the ages of 8 and 4. <laughs> between the ages of 38 and 44. You're still open to dating women in their 20s. I am not at all whatsoever. I learned my lesson and it's time for me to grow up. Hey, okay. If you're looking for maturity and you're 56, it probably would bode well to date someone who's closer to your age range because you guys probably have similar experiences and can bond over that. That's not a hard and fast rule, obviously, but it does show a little growth, I gotta say. Not bad, Big Ed, not bad. And it's time for me to grow up. I believe that. Jokes. I don't. This man supposedly still is engaged to Liz. Just keep that in the back burner when we're like watching this series. Mom, look at this. Brace. <laughs> Dude, throw that shit away. What the hell did you have a bad thought that was Uber Eats? Uber Eats? Beans. What if I regret it? I don't know. What if I regret it? You're not gonna regret it. It scares girls. The long hair makes you look like an old witch man. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the long hair makes you look like an old like Blair Witch Project. You look like all of... You look crazy. You crazy, big head. You crazy. You get on broomstick, I tell you do chores, but you can fly off on broomstick. <laughs> 10 out of 10 joke. Humor. I have a list of 10 things I want in a woman. I want someone that is committed, trustworthy, respectful, is attractive, doesn't want kids, communication skills, sense of humor, tiger in the bedroom, does not want to friend zone me, and they have to love me. Couple of those were weird. Tiger in the bedroom, sure. Uh, doesn't want to friend zone you. I assume if they're dating you, they don't want to friend zone you, buddy. He put communication as six. I think that's number one or two for me. I guess to each their own. He's got he's got a list of wants and he knows what he wants, which is good. You do have to know what you want, but be open to changing. I think that a perfect person will come in and change your expectations off them. 
if that makes sense like you're gonna expect something but you find someone who you're like i wasn't expecting that but i like this more so i'm just saying be open don't close your eyes and then have such tunnel vision that you miss the one who's right in front of you advice from leo 2.99 you have to pay me now you're gonna find the most beautiful lady in the world the one that makes you happy the one that looks at your balls looks at your soul oops your soul oops sorry <laughs> oh oh smoking that crack <laughs> it's not a it's not a video if i don't bring up crack at some point is it as the show goes on we see big ed towards the middle of the show and he is now working out with his daughter in vegas i believe your ass on fire yeah come on pick it up faster Jesus Christ, I can't breathe. Squeeze my Down, butt. Down, squeeze your butt. Ugh. Stay tight. Oh, that hurts. And go up. Is it me? Is it me or do you guys also talk to your parents like this? I don't, I've never looked at my dad and been like, squeeze your ass, bro. Who <laughs> 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 the fuck does that? I've walked out with my cousins before. I've never been like, no, you gotta compound that ass. Compound them ass cheeks, cousin. You <laughs> Weird. So to be quite honest, I wanted to get out of San Diego because of Liz. She works in my neighborhood. So there's always that possibility that I could run into her at a local grocery store. And I don't know what that would be like. She works at your favorite restaurant. It's not a possibility, it's an inevitability. If you want to see her, you go to the place where she works, which is the restaurant that you met her in. What, what grocery store? Son, you know where she is. She's there every day, Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. Bro! Big Ed says some weird shit at times. Haunting you, Big Ed. Tell your daughter why you hate Liz and why you want to bang other women. I'm sure she'd love to hear that. You know, it's still tough. Uh... I'm still trying to get over Liz. I'm in therapy. I actually had therapy today. Does he mean actual therapy or is he talking about the haircut? I'm genuinely asked. Don't laugh at that. I'm genuinely asking. I don't know if he got the haircut and then said that was his therapy. Does this man see a, a therapist or just people that he then unloads his problems onto and calls it therapy? Like he buys groceries and someone's like, one apple, 59 cents. 59 was Liz's favorite number. Liz is the girl that okay, I Okay, sir, please, can I... This is 10 items or less. As soon as you say anything related to anything, he will now cry and bring up Liz. Even though he broke up with her. Try not to get uh, back into that relationship. I'm moving on. No more Liz. I don't want to talk about her. I'm not going to mention her again. I don't want to talk about Liz. Yeah, I told my Bravo that Liz was this girl that I was dating. I told Sean that last time we talked. I told my mom about Liz, but I don't want to bring it up. I told you about her. I, I don't want to bring it up. Well, ugh. I told my dog about her in secrecy. I'm not, it's I'm okay dating, to go dating, on a date. dating. I want to play the field. I know that sounds weird at 56 years old. So I kind of met somebody and we're going on a date tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going out. <laughs> date tonight i might i might not use the condom <laughs> you, you you like that <laughs> sorry i know you're my daughter i'm sorry by the way uh grandma thinks that i'm her dad now which would make you uh, my grand granddaughter i don't know i cut my hair she went all wonky on me she said i look like her dad grandma's off the zoinkies okay she's off the percocets you never approve of the women i'm dating <laughs> <laughs> What do you expect? Everyone's like half your age. She's three. Okay. I'll let you know how it goes. Really hope I'm not at the stage where I have a daughter and I'm a single dad and then been like, hey, Matilda, hey man, I'll be fucking all these hoes. I'm not gonna say that to my daughter. Or even the nice version. I'm fornicating with all these beautiful women. Mm -mm. Nope, not really gonna say that. Yo, put, come on, man, put the bars around this. I can see too much of this man. <coughs> Discovery Plus, what the hell? <laughs> ah! Yo, that camera was too close to the ground, son. I would not want to see Big Ed's, uh, Big Ed. I don't know about that. I don't want to see that. I'm going out on a date with a girl named Mia. She's 42 years old. <laughs> This will be my first date since my breakup with Liz. 
And my plan is to take uh, Liz. Mia. Uh, oh, fuck. I want to take Liz. Mia. Um, fuck me. Mia. My plan is to take Mia um, swing dancing. I don't, I don't normally uh, care about this stuff, but someone did say he looks like that crash test dummy, and I genuinely can't unsee it. I am sorry for, like, saying anything about the body stuff, but, like, can you unsee it now? And hopefully we'll come back to the hotel. I'm just kidding. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. I got tattoos on my back, just kidding. I got a hairy back, just kidding. It's a gorilla back, just kidding. I can rival Robin Williams in the hair that I have on my chest, just kidding. I can't, because I'm not as funny as him. Just kidding, I am super funny. Just kidding, unintentionally. Just kidding, intentionally. Just kidding, I'm dating a woman my age. Just kidding, 10 years younger. Just kidding, I'm not gonna date her because I'm already engaged to Liz. Ugh. I want to impress her. I've lost a lot of weight. So I actually enjoy getting dressed now. That body composition, God has fucked you over royally. God has said, let there be light wait things for you to sit on. I wish you the best on your endeavors and training, my bro. Really. I think you can get there. Sorry. Do I go black sophisticated? I don't know. I think I'm gonna go black. Go black. Go black. Everyone goes black. Mia goes black. I still really miss Liz. Everything reminds me of her. So I really have no idea if I'm ready to even fall in love again. All right, man, let's do this. Nothing like hyping yourself up in the mirror. All right, man, let's do this. Be a real tiger in a sack. Big Ed, big member, big E-D. Uh, give her that big E-D, you know what I'm saying? So now Big Ed actually goes on his date with Mia, and we get to see what Big Ed is made of on another date with another woman, and how he has grown or not grown. Mia is 42, and all the women that I've dated have been in their 20s, and it hasn't worked out. I became a father at such a, a young age. So I got married when I was 20. Damn, look at the look at that stash, baby. Woo! That tuxedo go right up to the neck, huh? You know, for anybody who don't know Big Ed lore, uh, this poor lady that uh, Big Ed had the kid with, he cheated on her. He cheated on her. And my daughter Tiffany was born when I was 24 years old. But my ex-wife and I got divorced. I cannot believe that. And uh, I mean, I, can, I should be able to believe that. I applaud people who get married and have kids that young. I wish I was that steady in my life that I could be like, hey man, I am ready to commit to you for the rest of my life. Also, bring life into this world. I had zero dollars at 22. I was dead broke. I was not thinking about having a family. Sometimes people get trapped and then they can't help their child. I feel like I need to have everything in order so that when I bring a kid into this world, I actually have everything sorted or can try to. But, you know, congrats to those people. And what I didn't want to do was date anyone or be in any kind of serious relationship due to the fact that um, I had a daughter and I didn't want to take time away from my daughter. And that meant putting my love life on hold for 27 years. You think that's really what happened though? He just went for 27 years and started meeting people. Now he's dating new people every year. I don't know. Feels feels insincere, but okay. I believe you, but it doesn't sound true. I'm hoping that Mia can dance as good as she looks. I don't want to start the date off having dinner and that whole thing. I'm going to go out and do something that I enjoy doing. You know what? This man has grown. <laughs> it's a pretty good first date. That's a pretty good, it's better than goat yoga, which he did with Liz on the second date, so I gotta say, so far, Big Ed is making these small improvements. I'm liking it. Anyway, this man proceeds to turn into like a torpedo and he's doing all sorts of, you know, dance moves and stuff at the club because he's been swing dancing since he was a baby. But it's also hilarious to see this man swing around aggressively. <laughs> After that, they finally do go to dinner because they're hungry. And then Big Ed proceeds to ruin the date. Guess what he does? Take a wild guess. He talks about Liz. Every, every fucking chance he get, he talks about Liz. Oh, let's get something to drink. That was fun. Swing dancing with me, I thought was awesome. It was a chance for me to get to know her kind of physically and to have a good time. Then she's just a knockout. Like, she literally looks, you know, younger than Liz. Younger than Liz. My dude. 
How can I say that you're gonna grow if you're gonna p compare every girlfriend to the last one? That is a path, a slippery slope, I might add, to failure. Do not compare the next girl to the previous one. She brings a very different energy than the last one. Once you learn <clears throat> to stop comparing people to other people is when you learn to actually accept someone for who they are. Not everyone is gonna give you what the last person gives you, but they will give you something new and different. This is just general advice, but I think it's worth taking. Very shitty, bruh. This is her own woman. This is a different girl. Don't be comparing her. Stop. Oh, these are comfy. Yeah. All right. Hello, how are you guys doing? Good, Good. how are you? Good. Can I get a booster? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can I get a booster seat? Cause I'm so short. Just, just kidding, I'm tall. Just kidding, I'm not. Just, just kidding, I'm sad. Just kidding, I'm not sad. I'm distort. Just kidding, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Just kidding, I'm depressed. Just kidding, I told my baba about my ex. Just kidding, it was my therapist. Just kidding, it was my baba. Just kidding, I told my daughter I'm gonna bang someone. Just kidding, I didn't. I would never. Just kidding, I totally compared her to my girlfriend by mistake. Just kidding, my mom compared my girlfriend to my sister. Just kidding, she didn't. Just kidding, of course she did. Just kidding. I feel like I'm going to end Just my kidding. Life. I want the chips. I'm Big Ed. I'm, I'll have the chips, the fries, please. That was a joke, guys. Um. Talk to her. Talk to her. Say so. the words that you say. Um. Say things. Let's talk about relationships. Okay, so I'm not good at them. I, I make up and break up eight times. Who does that? Eight times. That's a lot of times. Who did the breaking up? Me. If anybody's breaking up with anyone, bitch, it's me. If you want this relationship to end, you are not walking out on me. I am walking out on you. Bitch, I am Big Ed. The notorious bitch E D. <coughs> I'll pump slap you. I tried a really hard time with that. That is the hardest thing that I've ever had to do. Oh my god, here it comes again. That is the hardest thing. I don't know who brought up Liz, but I, people keep bringing up my ex. Didn't he say that he wasn't gonna bring her up anymore? This is your first date, and you're crying on your first date after salsa dancing or whatever the hell you did. Really, way to ruin your chances, bro. Way to ruin that. But I had to. Don't cry. Can you calm down? Can you not bring this up? And if you're not over her, get over her before you date. Don't date people while you're not over someone. You're just gonna end up making things messy. What's the let, let her go? I'm gonna sing Passenger Let Her Go while Big Ed is crying and enjoy this montage. You only live once when you're up and bro. You only at the plot when you let her go. You only at high when you at the low. And now you have to go when you have to go. Only let her once when you let her twice. You like her ass, but she likes some rice. Only ever love her cause you it ain't her bro. When you really love her, did you let her go? Man, I don't know the lyrics. It was only a few months ago that I was living with Liz and now I'm sitting across from a stranger. I'm like, oh my God, you know, here I'm on this first date and I'm crying about my, my ex-girlfriend. Is she looking for the door? I think she's looking and I think she's gonna find it. We end on a cliffhanger and at the start of the show, I was promised that Big Ed said that he was shot at. They clickbaited me. Not only does YouTube clickbait me enough, but even on shows like Discovery Plus do I get clickbaited now. That is the first episode of Single Life Season 2. We find out that Big Ed has broke up with Liz and is now trying to date other people his age. On one hand, this guy is making small improvements by his physical, by cutting his hair, letting it be gray, as well as dating 
dating other people and trying to live that healthy life. But on the other hand, he's still thinking about his ex. He's still comparing people to his ex. He's still saying creepy things on the low. And I'm sure we're going to hear more of that as time goes by. The bottom line is that I've watched enough Big Ed videos to know that him saying that he's going to change and him actually changing are two completely different things. So I'm skeptical to say the least. I don't know if you guys are too, but I would be. That is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be back for more of Big Ed Watch as the series continues. Please show your support by subscribing, tell me you liked it, leave a comment, whatever you want. Just take care of yourselves and remember, if you break up with someone and then you date someone else, don't ever ask for a booster seat. Motherfucker, you just Baby, when I pull up on